This video is on integration using residues. So in this video, we have to find the poles and the residues at each pole of the function z square by z bar 4 minus 1. So clearly f of z from the function is given as z square by z bar 4 minus 1. So first of all, we have to find the poles for the given function. So in order to find the poles, what we have to do? So we have to equate the denominator to 0. Here the denominator is z power 4 minus 1 is equal to 0. So this can be written as z square whole square minus 1 square is equal to 0. So this is of the form a square minus b square. So this can be written as z square plus 1 into z square minus 1 is equal to 0. This is a, a plus b into a minus b. And again, this can be written as, see here. So, if I equate z square plus 1 to 0 here and therefore z square is equal to minus 1. And z square is equal to, this can be written as, minus 1 can be written as i square. So, z is equal to root over i square and z value is nothing but plus or minus i. And similarly, if I equate z square minus 1 is equal to 0 to 0 then z square is equal to 1 and z is equal to root over 1 and z value is equal to plus or minus 1. So here in this case we got the pole values as plus or minus i and here plus or minus 1. So here these are all the simple poles. So z is equal to see clearly z is equal to minus i plus i minus 1 and plus 1 are all simple poles are here simple poles so now we have to find the corresponding residue values for the given poles so for finding the residue value for first thing is minus i see here the residue value is also very simple the residue of f of z at point z is equal to z naught is nothing but this is limit z tends to z naught this is z minus z naught into f of z clear and therefore here I am taking z0 value as minus 1. The first thing I am taking this as minus 1. So here this will be so here residue see here the residue of f of z at point z is equal to minus 1 will be limit z tends to minus 1 and this is minus of minus plus 1 into f of z. So what is our f of z value? f of z value is nothing but z square. So this is z square by, this can be written as, for each and every pole I am writing like this. So I am writing this as z minus i into z plus i into z minus 1 into this is z plus 1. So here, I have to cancel this one. So z plus i and z plus i got cancelled. And in the remaining thing, I am going to keep z is equal to minus 1. So this is z square minus i whole square. And this is, I am writing minus i into minus i. And here also minus i minus 1 and minus i plus 1. And here clearly i square is nothing but minus 1. Clearly i square value is nothing but minus 1. Therefore, residue of f of z at point z is equal to minus 1 is nothing but i square value is minus 1. This is minus 2i into a plus b into a minus b. So, which is nothing but a square minus b square. So, clear? And this can be written as minus 1 by this is minus 2i. i square this is minus 1 minus 1. So, this is minus 2i into this is minus 2. And therefore, I, minus 1 can be written as i square. By here, this is minus 4 into i. So, this is minus 4 into i. If I cancel 1 i here, so here the value is minus 1 by 4. So, therefore, the residue of f of z at point z is equal to minus 1 is nothing but minus 1 by 4. And next one for the residue value, see here, if the residue value of f of z at point z is equal to plus i. So, here I am taking plus i for this. z is equal to i. Therefore, the formula here is nothing but this is limit z tends to i 
this is z minus i into f of z. Clearly, this will be limit z tends to i. This is z minus i into f of z is nothing but z square by this is z minus i into z plus i into z minus 1 into this is z plus 1. Clearly, this can be written as so if I cancel this one and write 1 in place of uh, z so this will be i square and here this will be i plus i so this is z square minus 1 so this is i square minus 1 and therefore i square value here is minus 1 this is 2i i square is again minus 1 minus 1 so here minus 1 2i into minus 2 clearly minus 1 can be written as i square this is minus 4i. So, if I cancel this one, again this will be minus i by 4. So, this is also minus i by 4. So, if you watch here, see here, if I am going like this. So, this is minus 2i. So, this is minus 2i into minus 2. Here, this minus 2 i here. Minus 2 to minus this is plus. So, here this value is plus i by 4 and here this value is minus i by 4 so we got the residue value for z is equal to i is so this is the residue value of f of z at z is equal to plus i is nothing but minus i by 4 and the next one here is we have to find the residue value for z is equal to minus 1 for finding residue value for z is equal to minus 1 clearly residue of f of z for point z is equal to minus 1, this can be written as limit z tends to minus i. This value is z square by this is z minus 1 into z plus 1 into z minus i into this value is z plus i. So, minus 1. So, this value will be z minus of minus plus 1. So, here this is z plus 1 into z minus z naught by z minus z naught into f of z so i can cancel z plus 1 and substitute minus 1 in place of z square so this will be minus 1 minus 1 into this is minus 1 minus i into minus 1 this is plus i and clearly minus 1 square is plus 1 this value is minus 2 a plus a plus b into a minus b so this will be a square minus b square clearly this is 1 by minus 2 minus 1 square is 1 and i square this is minus of minus plus 1 the value here is 1 by minus 2 into 2 which is clearly minus 1 by 4 therefore residue of f of z at point z is equal to minus 1 at point minus 1 is this is minus 1 by 4 for the pole and the next pole here is residue of f of z residue of f of z at point z is equal to plus 1 so this will be limit z tends to 1 this is z minus 1 into f of z say f of z is nothing but z square by this is z minus 1 this is z plus 1 z minus i into this is z plus i z plus i clearly i can cancel this one and write 1 in the remaining function that is 1 so this value is 1 plus 1 a plus b into a minus b that is a square minus i square i square so this value will be 2 and this is 1 minus of minus plus 1 this value is 2 into 2 so the value here is minus so plus 1 by 4 so this is the residue value of f of z at point z is equal to 1 so this value is the residue value clear so for the pole value clear and let me explain you here so we have to find the poles and the residues at each point of the given function. So the given function is this one. In order to find the poles, we have to equate this value to 0. So this will be z square whole square minus 1 square is equal to 0. This is z square plus 1 into z square minus 1 is equal to 0. So if you equate, we got the pole values at plus or minus i and plus or minus 1. Therefore, our simple poles are nothing but minus, minus i plus i minus 1 and plus 1 are the simple poles so now we have to find the corresponding residue values in order to find the residue values this is a formula and if i keep z is equal to minus i here 
and if I cancel z plus i on both sides from the numerator as well as denominator and substituting minus minus i so I got the value as see here I got the first pole value as plus i by 4 and after uh, substituting z is equal to i the residue value is minus i by 4 and next one here is if I substitute the pole value z is equal to minus 1 I got the corresponding residue value as minus 1 by 4 and here the pole value z is equal to 1 we got the residue value as plus 1 by 4 this is how we have to follow and hope you all guys understand understand so this is also very very simple so there is another another kind of uh, um, formula so that is also so simple please practice and pass it on to your friends definitely you can do any problem of any kind if you follow these videos thank you so much